Hi, this is Connie with Clicky Chick Creates, and I am so excited to plan with you this week. I actually um, came up with a new idea for a um, the way that I'm going to decorate the top. So I'm excited to share that with you. I'm actually going to move this because I can already feel the bump on that. Um, I don't know if you've worked with stencils before. It's one of my favorite go-to tools in uh, card making and scrapbooking and crafting and I'm actually really excited to give it a try in my planner. So these are, um, this one specifically, I believe it's either a crafter's workshop or a, let me see where do I have it, I have all kinds of goodies in here. Um, I should have the sleeve. It's from the crafter's workshop and it's the mini flower frenzy. So that's this one that I'm going to be using right now. And what I'm going to do is, uh, why, do you, why do I suddenly feel like Rosanna Dana? What am I going to do? I'm a goofball. You'll, you'll definitely learn that. Okay, I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper and I'm just going to cut it down. Since this is the straight edge, I'm not going to worry about this being wonky or straight and I'm going to put that across there and I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape just to keep it in place. I could technically use the washi tape to go across that whole area um, but I'm just going to keep it there um, and what I mean by that is I could just put washi across that and then end up lifting it when I'm done but I just need a little bit right now and when the whole washi craze started, I bought tons of washi, whatever I could get my hands on. And so there are quite a few of them that are not not my favorites. Um, absolutely. Ones I really don't use, but I keep them. And so those are the ones that I use on these kinds of projects that I just need something to cover up. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is these dates. I want to keep protected even though I'm going to use ink over my stencil. So what I'm going to do, I think, yeah that will cover it. So I'm going to grab that same piece of scratch paper again and I'm going to put a strip of washi across it. Let's see if I can get this going again. Oh, tearing. See, that's one of the reasons I don't like this one. There's some that are just, I don't know, not good quality. Oh yeah, you see it's already tearing down there. Oh, terrible. All right, so I'm gonna take that part off and not work with that piece. But I'm gonna take a nice big strip. That was the wonky side. I'm just going to put a strip going across pretty much so the length of it. I'm not going to worry about that too much. And then I'm going to take a punch. This is the medium size hexagon. I'm going to take that punch. Oh, it is too small. I don't know if you could tell. It's not quite long enough. And it won't be long enough that way either. So what I'm going to do is take another piece of that same washi and I'm going to go right over that other piece and just slightly above it but I'm going to get a good overlap on it so that they uh, so that they're they're stuck on each other I want them stuck on each other intentionally and you'll see why in just a second so I'm just going to punch uh, four of them out. All right, there's four of those. And now I'm get, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel from the bottom piece, not from the top piece, because then the top piece will just end up coming off. Probably should have done this on cardstock that would have been a little bit thicker and easier. 
to pull from. Let's see if I can get this to work. Ugh, finally. Oh, and it's totally tearing the paper. All right, plan B. I'm just gonna dump all of these right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same idea, but on a thicker cardstock. And I used this on a project the other day, so I will use this cardstock right here. Again, just super, super easy. You don't need too, too much because you only need to do four days and I, we should be able to take them from this side over here. So I don't think I'll need seven, but you never know. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. I tried uh, yesterday with the little circle punch, but then today I realized I wanted to use the the hexagon. Yeah, it's tearing again. All right, and I again, I don't want that torn side on uh, on these punch outs because it'll it'll just be a pain to to work with. All right, there we go. So now I'll try this again. I think actually I will be able to get seven pieces out of here, so I'll just go ahead and punch those out since there's enough. All right, so those can go to the side. And again, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this washi tape from the bottom piece that is overlapped by the top piece. Oh, good heavens. This is why is this super sticking? There we go. All right. So now I'm get, I'm lifting it from the cardstock, and I'm keeping the top piece with it together. And now I'm going to just cover up my date. I want to make sure that's pretty centered over that. I'm not going to be totally cuckoo neurotic about it, but I do want it nice and centered on it. Oh, this is really sticking to some of these. Let me see if I can try from this side corner. Yeah, but I don't want just the top piece. All right, let's try from this corner. All right, I got that one. So because of the challenge that I'm having, I'm gonna suggest that you don't push your washi down too hard on the um, on the paper that you're going to punch it out from. I'll grab the paper again. My goodness gracious! Okay, and I'm going to end up fast forwarding this part. So you don't need to s just watch me struggle with washi tape. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay. All right. Whew. That was painful. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take my stencil again, and I'm going to line up where I want it. I'm actually going to fold this whole thing over. Take my pen. 
kind of look. And just have this one page, just because I don't want the ink leaking through onto um, other pages. Not from the back side, but from going over on the edge. So I'm going to take my stencil and I'm going to put it over that area. And then I'm going to take three different colors. I'm going to start with yellow. Oh, and that was, and uh, actually the colors that I'm using are distress inks. And these are pigment inks, but I'm not. Um, I'm using them really kind of in a light way. I'm using this as a foam um, applicator and it's by Ink Essentials. So I'm just going to kind of tap that onto there and then keeping my stencil in place. And you can use washi tape to hold it down too. I'm pretty used to using this, so I'm just going to hold it down with my fingers. I'm going to go back in for a little bit more ink, and when I'm pouncing down on it, I'm kind of pushing down and a little bit of a twist on it, just to get a nice, even application. All right, and that's all I'm going to use from the yellow. And then next, I'm going to use, P uh, the yellow was squeezed lemonade, I don't know if I said that. This turquoise color is peacock feathers. And if it overlaps a little, that's totally good with me. It just creates another little combination of a color. So I'll have a little bit of green there. And then I'm going to be done with this one. Oh, my desk is a mess right now. All right, and I'm going to use, um, this one is a new color from this year. It's called Abandoned Coral. Love, I so, so love this color. All right, so now I'm gonna pounce this one on, and I'm gonna try and go as close to the edge as possible. And again, if that overlaps a little, that'll just make kind of a mauve color, and I'm good with that. And then you lift that up, and you see that pretty effect that we were able to create, and we didn't go past our line there. I'm gonna end up moving this piece over to the other side. And I'm just going to lift that up gently to make sure that I don't tear my paper. And I'm going to move this over. Ooh, the sun is coming out. It's been overcast all day long. And now it decides it wants to make an appearance. All right, and then I'm going to show you how pretty this looks once you lift these. And again, I'm just going to be gentle, and I'm going to lift from the bottom, so that way I get it all in one piece. Actually, I could probably just go ahead and put that over here. And I'm holding the paper down, my planner down, with my right hand, and then pulling back gently on this so I make sure I don't tear that. So you can use, like I said, I was I was testing it with the with the circle punch. You could do a heart punch. You could do whatever type of punch you would like to use to cover up your dates and to keep those solid and protected. All right, and on this one, I am gonna actually cover up the My Notes section as well. So, let me just grab another piece of scratch paper. And again, I know this side is straight, so I'm just gonna use that side to line up over here. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of washi tape right here, just one of these little scratch pieces that I ended up throwing over there, just to keep that piece in place as well. And then I'm going to do this, the exact same thing. I am actually going 
actually going to do this so that it's just single, the single piece, not um, with pieces so that when I was going off the edge that it doesn't bleed onto other pages. And on this side I'm going to continue with the abandoned coral. Actually, you know what, this side I'll pick up with some more of the yellow before I go into the peacock. I'm just going to line it up again. I moved it a little bit. Just going to line it up, make sure it's all good. And you see that there's a little bit of the peacock feathers on there, so it's actually going to turn my yellow green. If I was totally worried about it, I would have changed it, but I'm fine with a little extra color coming through. And then I am going to finish up on that other end with peacock feathers. Oh, I think that is so pretty. I hope, I hope you do too. I am trying and liking trying new and different techniques on my planner, so. And these, you could leave them on your craft mat, these little hexagons, and reuse them next week. Um, or you can just end up dumping them. And just recreate them as you need them. I'm going to lift this up. Again, just being gentle not to tear my planner page. Um, that's one of the beauties of the inkwell press planner. I absolutely love the quality of the paper that Tanya uses. It's gorgeous. So isn't that fun? Isn't that a different technique? I, I haven't seen anybody use this kind of a technique on their planner yet. Um, maybe somebody has, but I thought it would be a fun way to create kind of a, a custom look up top and uh, without using uh, stamps or um, stickers up top. But I am going to go sticker crazy on the rest of it. <laughs> One of the things I am going to do is add a little bit of gold washi, but I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to actually trim it down because I just want, I just want a little strip of it. I don't want this much on there. So I'm going to grab my trimmer. And I just want, like I said, a tiny piece, so I want it to be really nice and thin. Don't we all wish we were nice and thin? <laughs> all right, let me see, where do I want it? I want it really to hit there. This is probably going to move on me, so I will probably end up putting um, some tape down to keep it in place. I think I actually will. Actually again I'm going to use one of these little scraps of washi that I that was tearing off. I'm just going to use a little piece of this on the back side to keep that glitter washi in place. And hit two spots with that so that it's held in place on top and on bottom. Should have already gotten ahead, gone ahead and cut the other side now that I think about it. But we'll go right back to that in just a second. Alright, I 
excuse my head if it gets in the way. Alright, and I'm just going to take a card, an old gift card. Oh, that did not tear very nicely. Not nicely at all. I don't know if it's because it's the glitter, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab my scissors for the rest of it. Ready. Okay, and then let's get another piece. did me no good, so I'm going to put that away. Alright, I am loving that so far. So the next what I'm going to start doing is my um, blocking out some of these time stamps um, because I don't actually use, use them that way. Um, so one of the things I wanted to use last time that I thought would be cute is using the Heidi Swap. She has a little hexagon shape. So I thought that would be kind of cute to block out the timestamps with. So I'm going to get a little acrylic block and let's see what color do I want to use. Actually I'm going to see how this is close to that or if it's totally way off. I might end up using the uh, the color that I used. Oh yeah, that's that's totally coming out of left field. Oh, I forgot to even mention. So I was really inspired. I wanted to use the yellow and the kind of ocean blue color this week. I've been going on my own kind of tangent and I do love the colors that um, Tanya put in here so in the planner so I wanted to try and, and incorporate those more into my weekly color scheme. So um, on this I think I'm going to see how this blue looks to block out those times again and this is from the uh, Versa Magic. I think these are pretty pastels I think is the color palette I was trying to find it last time, and I think that's what I ended up figuring out. It's called... Okay, so let me see. It's a little bit light. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty. Alright, so I'm just going to block out some of these time spots, because I just end up putting in what appointments I have. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. And again, since this is getting close to the edge, I'm going to actually move my stamp really close to the edge. So it's easier to get in those spots. Alright, those are all done now. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to use some stickers that I made. So again, I'm still figuring out my silhouette machine and these ended up cutting all the way through again, which was such a bummer, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I am little by little getting there. Okay, so actually let me look at my, oh, I'm kind of all over the place right now. Let me think what I want to use. I think I'm going to use this orangey palette for my checklists for here and I think with that, I'm going to use my little stickers. Let's see if they how how they came out. 
yeah, you see it's, they totally cut all the way through again. Uh-oh, I must have not cut, put cut marks over there. stink a -rooney. All right, so I'm going to use just my scissors to cut these out because this should be two different stickers here. Yeah, I'm still working out the kinks, but I think once I do, they will look super cute. But until I do work out the kinks, I'll just work with what I got. All right, so again, I apologize. I'm kind of all over the board right now, just trying to think through how I'm going to lay out my week. So these are my daily activities that I take care of for my business and for my water intake. So I'm going to put those down there. So I think I'll use these here. I think I'll use yellows for my check marks and I'm going to use these for my little headers right up here. And I made these nice and thin because I didn't want to have to use up a whole area. So I think I'm actually going to even bump this up a little bit and still be able to use that area. So let me take a look if I put my, if I use some of these yellow check marks. If that'll be high enough or not. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Oh, that's going to look so cute. So on these little strips I did, um, kind of based on what I wrote out last week, I ended up doing some to-dos, some that say blog, some that say, uh, let's see, photo um, and video, some that say Etsy boutique. Um, and then these have, like I said, all the things I need to take care of. So it's a lot of social media stuff. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter posts, um, Pinterest pins, um, posting my ads, and then contributing um, to the creative team over at Capture 365. So those are just some of the different areas and then the hydration. So I'm, I'll be adding those down here. Let me keep plugging away. If you guys have any good YouTube tutorials that you recommend for really kind of getting a grasp on how to use the silhouette, can you let me know please because I would so totally appreciate that. I am a nerd and love doing that kind of stuff, but I am having the hardest time really getting a grip on that. And I would love to just figure it out and be able to just go to town using using it so I feel very clunky working with it right now and I cut that was super crooked so once I get that figured out hopefully it won't be so um, kind of goofy looking <laughs> So to do blog, I'll do another to do. Actually, I think I'll do this color down here. I'm gonna try and get it without the sticker backing. Yay. So yeah, my lines did not match up very well. And then I'm gonna do Photos. Oh man, that one came with the backing. Dretz. There we go. Alright, so I like that so far. And then I'll put another to do. I guess I'll use yellow since I'm using a little bit of everything. 
I'll do yellow. Let's see if I can get it without the backing. And this is probably so terrible for the cutting mat, isn't it? Uh, stuff over here. Alright, so I like that. And then I'm just going to put, like I said, these guys down here. So, and I'll just mix those up based on based on just the different color scheme. been too big on stickers yet, but I'm liking the way those all came together and the color scheme that I'm working with this week. Definitely makes me feel like it's spring meeting summer. Those are some of my favorite colors and that combo is just yum. All right. So even though I ended up um, coloring the background here, I am going to mark out that this is the weekend, and I wanted to use some alpha stickers. I bought these a while ago in the um, dollar bins over at uh, Target. I think these will be great for for this weekend. Actually, I'm going to start with the K in the center and work from there. Even though I did already grab the W, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. And I do want to use... I've been, I have been really liking these stamps down here to note these different areas. So I'm going to do that again and I am going to use, let me see, this is part of like a, a Martha Stewart set that I got ages ago, but I'm going to see how this one will look. If it's more orangey, then I actually have another orange one, but I think this one will be too bright, but we'll see hopefully between one of those two, it'll it'll go with the the look and feel. So what I wanted to use is the this is delicious one again. And then from the let's see where is it? from the Avery L stamp set. I wanted to use some of these stamps again. Oh, that's what I just realized I forgot to do. Okay. So actually, let me go ahead and I'm gonna put this one here. And let's test that out to see what the color looks like. We'll see if it's too light or too dark or if it's like Goldilocks and just right. Oh, that looks really too light. 
I don't know if it's that it's dried out or if that's just how it looks. Yeah, that's way too light. Let me put that one away. Let's give this one a go. a little better. I'm wondering if these are really drying out. They look so faint. Not really liking how that looks. All right, let me try. Actually, not going to go with that one. I am going to go to this color. I want to see how that one looks. Oh, I really feel like Goldilocks right now. <laughs> Just going to stamp off that other color. It's a little bit brighter than I'd like. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one I'm going to try this one. <laughs> I'm really feeling like Goldilocks right now. You know what, that's, I think this is the one I'm going to go with. And that one is from the um, Fruit Cocktail. It says, I think I just saw the color, pink grapefruit. So that is what I'm going to go with. And that looks nice with the abandoned coral and kind of ties in some of those colors. All right. So I am actually going to use that same one a bit more over here in the notes section where I mark down some of the different errands that I need to run or things that I need to do for the, for the, during the week. Okay. So this can go bye-bye. Hiding. And these again are from Pink Paisley. Oh, and did I mention in order to clean off? In order to clean off your stencil, you can just run it under um, under warm water um, for the definitely for the distress inks. I haven't used stencils, I don't think, with any other ink. Well, I've used it with paint, and the same thing. You just rinse it off with uh, warm water, and usually even a baby wipe will work. Right now, I, I have my planner down, but I would normally put this down on my craft mat and then just clean it off. So these clean off really easily. But I'll end up running that underwater in a little while. Okay. So over here I wanted to mark off some sections, but actually before I do that, I wanted to use um, another stencil and I liked uh, this arrow, it's kind of a thicker arrow, but I'm going to do the same thing with this strip here to mark that diff that section off. So I'm actually going to take some paper again, same way that I had marked off those sections. 
Actually, I think this one will be too thin. Yeah, it's not long enough. So let me grab, is that one going to be long enough? Ooh, just barely. Actually, probably not because I need to run the... Yeah, well, just, just barely. So I'll have to, feel, actually, we'll have to move this up so I can move the paper with it. And on this one, because I do need two straight edges, I am going to use my paper trimmer. this in here. So let me take this out. And I'm just going to block off the other sections because this stencil has so many other sections. And I just want this arrow section to get inked, not these other areas. So um, where I have the paper positioned on the planner is fine. I could tape it down, um, but I'm actually just going to leave it um, loose and just work work my magic. So I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to do the yellow. I think that'll be nice and pretty. No, actually I'm going to go with the coral. Since there's already so much yellow down here, I am going to go with the coral and close this one up. And even though this is thicker because I have the paper masking, it'll be fine. Although, I did just notice up here I don't want to go off the edge. So I'm just going to take another piece and block that area off so that I don't go over and get a big messy smudge. So then I'm just going to pounce this down. all the way down and then I'm going to move this down a little bit and just line it up and I should have, duh, moved my paper down. <laughs> So now we can finish off all the way down. Yes, I do have my paper protecting that. Although, why do I feel like I'm going crooked? Or no, it's the lines that don't match up. Ah, okay. All right, that's fine. So I'm just going to pounce that on there. All right, so we'll move these. And how cute does that look? Oh, that's so cute. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I wish I knew if you did too. <laughs> All right, um, I just realized I forgot to put one of those right there. And on that one I'm just going to go back to the yellow. Okay. And that one actually turned out perfect. So I didn't cover that up with ink. All right, and then over here I am going to come back to my stamps. I'm sorry if I am so all over the place. I'm still not used to doing uh, planning on video. So this is, I think, my third video, but I, I'm i still clearly not uh, as organized <laughs> in my video for my planning. Okay, 
So phone calls I need to make, shipments that need to go out, and errands I need to run. And this has been helping me stay focused on those kinds of activities that need to happen. All right, and for these, I think I'm going to use this blue again. Love it. Just using a baby wipe to clean that off. Put that back in here. Next is mail and shipments that need to go out. I just realized I stacked them in the wrong place. Okay, the mail and the little geotag. Oh, I did find a stamp set that had a car. And it had a few other, it was actually the Hero Arts, one of their new planner stamp sets. It has a little car. Um, but so many other pieces in there I felt like I already had or wouldn't use. So I couldn't bring myself to buy the entire set for just one, one itty bitty little stamp. Okay. I just realized, let me see, that says call me. Thought that would be cute here, but I don't see anything that'll fit the others. No. Okay, so I'm gonna pass on adding those. Okay, let's see what else I wanted to add. Oh, I forgot from this one. I do want to add the house for household items down here. And then we go back to this color for this one. So cute. All right, so I think that's all the pretty stuff. I think now I'm just gonna end up adding in some of my notes of things that I already know that are gonna have to happen this week and fill in some of those items. And then all the rest will get filled in as the week folds out. Oh, I forgot. Part of what I have on these stickers that I made are, um, I made some really small ones that are, uh, say, blog posts and video edit, and then I have some bigger ones that are mom's night out, ride, learn, date, and party. So I'm excited to use these. I have actually another mom's night out on Tuesday the 26th. So I will add this one right here. Again, I know this is probably horrible for my mat. Oh, and I pulled off the backing. Why does my silhouette machine hate me so? All right. So this is gonna be on Tuesday night. Hi, I am so sorry. I have no idea what happened to my video and didn't realize that there were any issues until I sat down to edit. So I apologize um, that I am missing some of the video, but here are some close-ups to some of the different bits and pieces I used. Definitely all of the bits and pieces that I used in this video, I will be linking below the video. So take a look down there if you like. And I do hope that you enjoyed how I used the Distress Inks, the um, and the Crafters Workshop stencils. Those are some of my favorite items. 
that I use in my crafting all the time and I've done some other videos but I've never used them on my planner and I, I haven't seen anybody else use them in the planner world um, but maybe they have but anyway I hope you totally enjoyed it definitely let me know um, give me some love give me some comments give me some thumbs up and definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos all right thanks so much I'll be back soon with the video because holy moly June is around the corner so I will be doing some fun uh, plan with me um, videos coming up all right thanks so much have a beautiful blessed day bye bye